12 Serious Mistakes People Make When Visiting Blackpool Visiting Blackpool is unique in its own way. It's just like visiting any other town or city. Tourists usually trip during their trip to a place they have not quite studied well. Even after making all the possible findings about their destinations, many tourists may still encounter unwelcome surprises, making a mockery of all their plans and research. These are a result of slight mistakes that could taint their holiday. In this video, however, we're not talking about slight mistakes. We're focusing on significant mistakes that can be very consequential. Regardless of the gravity of those mistakes, however, a little more vigilance can make a lot of difference. We will now discuss 12 serious mistakes people make when visiting Blackpool. 12. Visiting during off-season It's always a very serious mistake to visit this time during the off-season when some of its areas appear as if on lockdown. July and August can be good months to visit if you want to enjoy some fun on the beach and paddle in the sea. This is when the temperatures are their highest. You can sunbathe and stay out till evening. June also can be a great month to visit if you don't mind the slightly cooler weather. But make sure you go only on weekends, as weekdays can be boring during this month. September too isn't bad. Visiting the town outside these months is… oh dear. 11. Expecting too much of transport services Tourists from London and other sophisticated cities usually believe that trams, trains, buses and taxis in Blackpool function similarly to other tourist areas. They're in for a big shock when they find, for example, that there is no Uber in Blackpool. Another rude example is that tramps in the town don't accept contactless payments. When tourists don't come with enough cash, they might find themselves unable to move as much as they wish. However, most of the town's tourist centres are within trekking distance of each other. If you don't have enough cash, you could do with a bit more trekking. 10. Not understanding money matters While credit cards, debit cards and other contactless payments are allowed in many places, you're advised to bring along extra cash while visiting Blackpool. Paying for little things, such as ice cream on the promenade and some games on the pier, may not be as easy as using these methods. More so, contactless payment has limits here. Even some tourists who use ATMs during their stay are pleasantly surprised that the only good way is to be charged in GBP. If you choose to be charged in your local currency, you will pay more because it's the ATM provider that will set the exchange rate, which will be higher. 9. Not planning for pickpockets Tourist destinations usually attract unscrupulous elements. We have no reason to expect Blackpool to be an exception. This town's crime rate is a bit higher. Pickpockets are always at their best in Blackpool during the season. It's illusory to depend on the large police presence for protection. These security agents can't be everywhere at once. They're not able to monitor every square inch and every single person in a big crowd. Your wallets might be snatched. You have to keep your belongings safe. Don't put your wallet in your back pocket. Dress in such a way that will enable you to fasten your belongings tightly close to your body. 8. Not bringing a waterproof jacket Many tourists often make the mistake of thinking that they'll not need a waterproof jacket since they're visiting the town in summer, which can be hot. They often forget that Blackpool is in Lancashire, and what we know about this place is that Lancashire coast is the wettest in England. It regularly gets a thorough soaking and wetness from rain blown in off the Irish Sea. Though most days will be sunny, bright and clear, having a lightweight waterproof coat is a precaution that'll do you much good in case the weather behaves unexpectedly. If you don't have such a jacket, you may plan for only indoor entertainment. 7. Getting caught by the casinos and arcades This is more peculiar to Blackpool than to other tourist centres. Nevertheless, a more general principle of avoiding financial difficulty is to avoid gambling as it's inherently risky, with its potential for addiction. Because the machines are conspicuously available everywhere in Blackpool during the season, many tourists get caught and keep pouring their money into them. Knowing this in advance has helped some tourists set a budget for what they would do while enjoying the town's nightlife and entertainment and stick to it. Don't be deluded by the possibility of winning big, as this is the same as the chances of losing big. 6. Planning to have a donkey ride on a Friday Tourists don't know that even donkeys have a day off in Blackpool. They thus make the mistake of planning a donkey ride on a Friday, as this has been historically a part of the British beach holiday for centuries. 
Nowadays, when animal rights are on the front burner, conditions for donkeys have improved and their right to rest is now being respected. Though horse rides are rooted in tradition, there are laws stipulating their use, which include the height, weight and age of a rider of each horse, and even the working hour. This makes a horse ride before the weekend very rare in Blackpool. 5. Not having a waterproof jacket for Valhalla Valhalla is one of the town's star attractions at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach due to the Norse mythologies surrounding it. As one of the world's longest indoor dark rides, it combines over six minutes of darkness with special lighting effects, including fire, snow and water. Many tourists don't realize that since it involves a lot of water, they will get wet. That's why ponchos are available at the entrance, but they're for a fee. You will be compelled to buy a very expensive poncho if you don't have your waterproof jacket. Otherwise, you will get wet, which might as well be a blessing. 4. Buying tickets on the day If you plan to visit Blackpool during the peak period, know that tickets for popular attractions can be sold out. If any are remaining, you'll spend considerable time in queues or even pay more to get them. Many make the mistake of planning on buying tickets for popular attractions such as the Blackpool Tower, the Dungeon and Madame Two Swords when they get there. Unfortunately, the tickets are sold out and they don't get to visit the places they've dreamt of visiting in Blackpool. The best approach is that once you've decided to visit Blackpool, you must buy your ticket while booking your accommodation. 3. Booking accommodation far from the fun Some people think they're economizing by staying outside of the city center when visiting Blackpool. While prices may be lower, this is a false economy in the sense that you will spend more than that in terms of money and time on traveling between your accommodation and the major attractions. If you stay in the city center, you'll find that the town is compact. The majority of those attractions are within a very small area in the town center. Thus, you can easily enjoy getting around the major points of interest there on foot. The savings you would thereby make will more than compensate for high spending on accommodation. Two expecting too much of the Blackpool Illuminations. Since the Blackpool Illuminations were first switched on in 1879, it has been one of the town's biggest draws. The hype around this 6.2-mile promenade with over a million light bulbs is more than its reality. Many tourists are expecting something like laser light with extravagant designs. What a huge mistake! As some tourists prepare for their summer holiday in Blackpool, they expect to see the wonders. They will be further disappointed as the lights are switched on only around the last week of August or the first week of September and remain on until early November when the town's Christmas lights will replace them. 1. Missing Blackpool Resort Pass Many tourists are missing out on massive savings by not getting a Blackpool Resort Pass. With this pass, you can save on some of the city's key attractions. For instance, just one ticket gives you a pass into the Blackpool Tower Eye, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Blackpool Sea Life Center Madame Two Swords and the Blackpool Tower Dungeon. The second tier of the pass adds further attractions such as Sandcastle Water Park and Blackpool Zoo. Imagine the difference if you were to buy an individual ticket for each of these. You can get this pass by ordering it online. You can then pick it up or have it posted to you. Have you or anyone you learned about made one of these mistakes when visiting Blackpool? Please, let's have your opinion. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.